I always thought I looked a lot like my Uncle Jerry, and gee, Mom seemed to really like him. I cannot believe this. After all this time, your mother tells you now. I swear my dad looked relieved. He did not. I heard him say, Phew. Oh, that is amazing. So what did you do over the summer? Well, we so should have started with me. Oh, sorry. Now, seriously, you couldn't see me there. Not everyone's staring at you, Colin. Hey, I know you. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me. I'm seeing a uniform of some sort. Uh, my tag repairman. I've bartended for you. For your parties. That's right, you have. You're a talented man. He makes a kick-ass margarita. <laughs> Thanks. It's good to see you again. What's your name? Marty. Uh, this is Rory. Hi. So, assuming your services are still for hire this year, your financial situation hasn't changed at all? Nope. Good. Okay, I'll give you a call. Where are you living now? Brantford. Oh, excellent. Brantford. All right. Good run into you. <laughs> excellent shirt, really. I can see what you see in him. Don't be an ass, Colin. Me? Never. I'm a friend to all people, large and... Very, very small. <laughs> kind of hate those guys. Really? Can't see why. I need more candles. Check my trunk. I think my mom put some in there. That's a lot of books you got there. The very fact that the bookstore had any in stock shows the sad nature of American reading habits. Do you need some help with those? I got this. But here, you can put these up. You made flyers. Anyone who wants to pay tribute to this great man deserves the opportunity. I'm on it. <laughs> OK, Finn, last building. Please say it looks familiar. Ah. Uh, apparently, it doesn't look familiar. No. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Yeah. This is where she lives. Excuse me, can I help you? No, thanks. Hey. Don't put your number. Don't put your number. I'm not putting my number. I'm putting your number. That's my room. OK, put my number. Are you sure this is your room? I'm sure. I could have sworn it was her room. What's her name? Maybe I know her. Uh, it was uh, sure. Oh, I can understand your disappointment losing a potential soulmate like that. But that is my room. I'm sorry about the mix up. My friend here, he means no harm. He just has to learn that Guinness and blondes, they don't mix. Redheads. We sincerely apologize, and we will now leave you to finish putting up the poster of on, me. this really old guy. Professor Asher Fleming. What, they were out of Orlando Bloom? Professor Fleming died last week. We're throwing him awake. OK, so were you and Fleming? No. Sorry, just you're putting a poster of him up in your hallway. You can see where I get the impression he's a little bit more of a teacher. Well, he was more than a teacher. He was a great writer and an inspiration and many other things that you couldn't possibly understand. You don't like me. You don't know me, but you don't like me. I know you. You do. We met yesterday. With Marty? Marty? Marty, my friend Marty. He bartended for you. Yes, Marty. I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. Of course, I met you yesterday with Marty. Nice to see you again. Rory! <laughs> nice to see you again. Rory, you're looking well. Angry oh. works for you. I'm not angry, I'm just irritated. By me? Yes. Because I forgot for a moment who you were. No, because you speak to people as if they're below you. People? Marty. Oh, your friend Marty. Yes, my friend Marty. You talked to him like he was dirt, and that's why I'm looking at you like this. I'm sorry. What did I say that was so bad? I said hello, and I think I said he made a kick-ass margarita. It's not what you said, it's how you said it. And how'd I say it? Like Judy Dench. Ouch. Just because somebody doesn't have money or a fancy family doesn't mean they're inferior to you. I agree. And just because somebody is a bartender at a party for you and your friends, it doesn't mean that you can talk to them like a servant. Well... What? I hired him. I paid him. He served. That's what a sermon does. Are you serious? For the sake of argument. He was doing a job. A job he took willingly. Some people have to work. And I bet if you ask him, he'll tell you you made excellent tips that night, because my friends, they tend to enjoy the refill. Not the point. To a bartender, tips are very much the point. Just because you pay somebody, it doesn't mean that you can speak to them as if they're beneath you. Actually, the fact that this is a free country means that I can speak to anyone in any manner which I choose. However, the rules of a civilized society may frown upon a certain obvious show of snobbery. So if that's your argument. I don't have an argument. Well, I can give you a moment to formulate one if you want to continue. I'm busy. You concede. I don't like it when people hurt my friends. And you react when goaded. I am not goaded. I am so far from goaded. Get out your compass and I will show you how far from goaded I am. I think we got a serious debater in our midst. Logan, I found it. Tell Marty I said hi, and I promise to remember you instantly next time. Now tell me that wasn't fun. Master and Commander. The movie? No, that's what I want you to call me from now on. <laughs>